Well, good morning once again, and Happy New Year. It's just hard to think about. I, I was just thinking about uh, 23 years ago today, we were all sitting around wondering if the world was going to come to an end with Y2K. Uh, but here we are, 23 years after that uh, uneventful event. And I'm just thankful to the Lord for his faithfulness over the years, aren't you? And uh, it's great to begin a new year. And so today we are going to begin reading again through the Bible in Genesis chapters 1 and 2 and Luke chapter 1. And the scripture that stood out to me in this reading was in Luke chapter 1, verses 67 and 68. Here's what it says. Now his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Now, of course, this is uh, Zacharias speaking about John the Baptist, the birth of John the Baptist, and all the events that, that took place relative to uh, the birth of John the Baptist. Just interesting. But uh, it's just it's just significant to me. This is just the beginning of a prophetic uh, praise from the mouth of a man who had been mute for nine months. Uh, you recall the story. Um, he hadn't believed what the angel Gabriel told him. And so Gabriel said, you're going to be not able to speak for nine months and so forth. And so, but it's just interesting to me that at the end of this nine month period of time, the first thing that comes from his mouth is not wonder and amazement that he can talk or that he had been healed, but rather the first thing from his mouth is praise to God for all that God has done and the greatness of his, greatness of his power. And for that, not only what he has done, but what he is about to do. The key to understanding, I think, is found back in verse 6, where it's, it's speaking of Zacharias and Elizabeth, where it says, And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. The, these were people who were accustomed to worship, uh, for they were already walking with the Lord. And, and it says that they were, they were blameless. Now, that can only mean that they were offering sacrifices and living lives that were a reflection of their walk and their relationship to the Lord. The result was that even when he didn't believe Gabriel, didn't believe what was told him that was going to happen, and was mute for nine months, he recognized the hand of God, even in that, all of that, and then he believed what God, what Gabriel had told him, what God had told him through the angel Gabriel. And and then uh, the praise that comes forth from his mouth as a result of all of that. Uh, it's just, it's just as, uh, I guess what I'm trying to, th to say is it's just an amazing thing to me that that which was practiced by them in their time of need, that was, it was that which came from him. Um, boy, it's just a, an important lesson for us, I think, today relative to our own walk and relationship with the Lord that our lives be one lives of praise to the Lord for, for fulfilling his word. We need to be men and women who lift up the name of Jesus. Worship is key, dear friends. And I pray that through this coming year, that uh, you know, I don't do New Year's re resolutions, but if there were one, I think it would be one that would say, I want to be a, I want to become a better worshiper of God. Uh, more uh, sincere, more full of passion in my worship for the Lord and all that he is and all that he has done and that what he is going to do. So may our mouths not be mute when it comes to worship and praise, but may we give the Lord Jesus all the praise and the glory that is due to his name, for he is worthy. And, and to say, Father, we worship you and thank you for all that you have done. It's a, a fitting way for us to begin the new year. So may the Lord richly bless you today as you worship him in spirit and in truth. Because as John will tell us, the Father is searching for those who will worship him in that manner. So may he find us in that search.